Hi Leslie, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So it's roughly a month since we did the breakthrough session, is that right? Mm -hmm. Abs yeah, about a month, yep. Right, and I remember the last time I spoke to, spoke to you, you couldn't go more than a minute or so without bursting into tears, is that right? Absolutely, I was an emotional wreck, so much emotion that I couldn't control and I was triggered by absolutely everything for extreme emotional response. It was right. absolutely <clears throat> something that was holding back in every aspect of my life. And this sort of problem that you had, how long had you had this kind of uh, this over, overwhelming emotion? Um, to be honest with you, I've probably always been there at the back of my, because I'm I am an emotional person. I'm learning, which is fine. It's just part of who I am. But um, after the loss of my mum is when it really started triggering, and I felt that I, I I didn't really deal with that, and so therefore I've been having this emotional response for about twenty years uh, since I lost my mum. Right, and what was it like? It was it was it something that you, from what I remember when I spoke to you, it was something you were saying you, you didn't have any control over. No, absolutely. I felt um, lack of knowledge, lack of control. Felt really angry about it. Um, as I'm an only child, so therefore it was a big, massive thing to lose your mum without at 26 without understanding. Right. Uh -huh. or and also, you were, you've also had problems with your eating for quite a long time as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've, I've been an emotional eater, which I had got under control. Um, I've been, had a problem with my weight since I was four or five, so pretty young. Um, right. And and so therefore I had got it under control, lost a lot of weight. And then I've been battling for the last three years with the emotional eating because I hadn't dealt with the emotions. It was affecting my, my weight loss. Uh, my weight loss, so I put on quite a bit of weight since I'd lost it and was just struggling to stick to my diet for more than two days. Right, so it's been roughly a month now. Tell tell me what's happened since then with your diet. So since with my diet, I've stuck to my diet 100% um, since then, and I've also lost over a stone wow, in about great. three weeks. So that's a massive breakthrough, which uh -huh. is fantastic. So I've, and I actually feel confident. I talk about when I go to get to Target now, not if. Right. Um, which is that's a change in my my, my thinking, my thought right, process right. now, which is huge. So, what about the actual emotional, um, the overwhelming emotional problem you've had? What, is, is 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 that still there? Or is that gone? Is that no? It's completely and absolutely gone. Um, well, what's probably coming out now is more of what a normal person would would have as emotion. That that I am an emotional person anyway, and that's fine. It's just part of my personality, and I'm going to embrace that. But I can con no, I can control it. I feel. That it's not controlling me anymore and I don't have to have this emotional eating to push it down because my emotions are normal and they're so you can be a bit happy you can be a bit upset you can be right. emotional when you see right. a, a tv program and obviously it's fine. how's that affected work because you told me as well that you had some kind of social anxiety and kind of fear standing up in front of the people it's yeah. the teacher obviously tell us a little bit about what's happened since then yeah so as a teacher you obviously go into new situations meeting new new people in, and I was comfortable in the classroom with children because that's just been the case but I struggled to meet peers or, or parents I would always have that anxiety introducing myself because I had this fear of being judged and so therefore I probably didn't put myself in a lot of social situations because I was so worried about it whereas I, literally the day after we had our session I had a meeting I'd forgot a training session I'd forgotten about and literally went straight into that and the first thing we do is oh, introduce yourself to the group which normally I would have that pit in my stomach going oh my god and I just didn't have that I was just able to say as you would normally my name is X and this is my, my role which which was a, a kind of a bit of an eye opener because I just did it without thinking about it then I went right. oh that's new that's right. So, mm -hmm. so, so what you could say is like doors are beginning to open already, um, and this is just the beginning of the mm -hmm. breakthrough session, really. Absolutely, um, uh -huh. it's completely changed how I deal with emotion and how I deal with with um, kind of anything really, and it's it's allowing me, I suppose, to be more me rather uh -huh. than this emotion, which is what I was doing and. Right. And feeling well, before, before all this, before we worked together, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you said that you you tried other things as before. What sort of things have you tried before this? I've tried traditional therapy um, more than once, and I find that that 
kind of made things a bit easier for a little bit of time, but it's it's the trauma of going over everything again. It brings it all back and you're almost punishing yourself. I've tried yeah. to just persevering and just try and willpower with my diet and put myself into situations. Right. So you but said you still... then that you said that um, when you tried the, so the more kind of traditional forms of therapy, mm -hmm. you were going over all this kind of trauma and it was a bit kind of like stressful. Mm -hmm. Did any, uh -huh. What was it like working with this kind of uh, um, process? What was it like? It was completely painless. And I, I think I suppose it was that worry before I went in of, oh, my God, I'm releasing all this emotion. Is this going to be like even more emotional? Is it going to be difficult, scary? And I suppose the unknown is always scary, but it was such an easy process and it was such a calm process. And it is the, the weirdest thing I've ever done, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's one of the best things I've ever done because I have seen such improvements. Um, and that's that's the thing I would definitely encourage people to try it because it has made such a difference to how I approach everything, really. Right. And it's had a big impact on my life. Okay, well, that's great then. So um, so I'm glad to hear that it's, uh, you, you've had a good result from this. And uh, mm -hmm. I'd just like to uh, thank you for... Um, taking time out to have a wee chat about it. Oh, you're welcome, thank you. Okay, thanks, Leslie. Okay.